There's only one true reality, y'all. And I'll make this very simple for you. Joy, freedom, peace, and love. Okay? Everything outside of that is sort of false. It's not really false. It's just that it's pointing to what you need to change to align with love. Right? If you tell me, I hate that I have to work at this job. Well, you don't. It's just that you don't believe that your dreams will come true if you follow love, if you follow your passion. Then you might say, okay, well, I'm not ready to do that. Cool. Then what you're going to do is learn how to love yourself while you're at the job because complaining is only hurting you, right? It's you playing the victim. No one has a gun to your head saying you need to work there. It's just that you don't have the confidence to believe in your dreams. That's okay. At least stop complaining. Align to love. I'm not saying these things are easily attainable, but they're absolutely attainable. Same with your relationship or your marriage. Your husband always shuts you down or gaslights you. Cool. That's showing you where you're not loving yourself. So confront your husband and say, listen, we either are going to go to therapy or we're going to talk about this or I have nothing left to give you. That's simple. So nothing is actually true unless it's rooted in love, joy, peace, and freedom. And you need to start believing in that. Otherwise, you'll never receive the life that you want to live. I'm telling you, it works. You have to think of yourself as a tea bag and you're going to steep in the energy of love all day long. That has to be your full time job. That is the assignment. That is the assignment. So figure out where you're still giving your power away. All right. Are you complaining about your friends, about your job, about not having enough money? That means you're not loving yourself. You're not believing in the magic of the universe. You have all the power inside of you to create the life that you want. But in order to create the life that you want, you have to love yourself. You have to decide, I'm not going to accept disrespect anymore because that's not love. I'm not going to accept people who don't support me anymore because that's not love. I'm not going to accept people who are mean to me. That's not love. I'm only going to accept love as my reality because that is the truth. That is the truth. The universe doesn't want to hurt you. It doesn't want you to feel bad. It's showing you how you're making yourself feel bad and the changes that you need to initiate in your own life, in your own heart, right? Where do you need to clean up your act? Are you not setting proper boundaries? Then you're not loving yourself. This is why people are always poking their nose in your business. This is why people always violate your boundaries because you're not being firm in your boundaries. Are you still not speaking your truth with everyone in your life? Well, then you're a pushover. You don't love yourself yet. So you can't expect your highest potential to manifest if you don't love yourself yet. You have to love yourself. When you want to go to the negative place, you've got to go, you know what? I know that that negative place, even though I go down that rabbit hole, I know that that's not the truth. So I'm going to go down the rabbit hole knowing that it's not true and intending to have the greatest life ever, you know? So remember to set strong intentions for yourself. I intend to have a happy life full of joy, freedom, love, support, generosity, abundance. But in order to have that, you have to be that. You always have to become the next level before you enter the next level. Remember that. You have to be the next level before you enter that next level. Always, all right? So start steeping like a tea bag in the energy of love, joy, freedom, and peace. And if something doesn't make you feel good, Figure out what you need to change within yourself to affect change in your life. All right? You don't like the way that friend treats you? You think that person's superficial? Then why are you still allowing that? That means you're not allowing love into your life. You're still accepting less than you deserve. All right? And if you're at a job that makes you miserable, it can't make you miserable. You're the one that chose to work there. Okay? And stop complaining because you're inviting negativity into your mind and into your heart. And that's that, my friends. I love you.